Richard, it's been a fantastic day visiting Oxford Engineering with you, looking at some of the latest technologies and innovations that they've invested in. But today I really want to concentrate on the zero point system that you've just installed. Can you tell our audience a little bit about this application and product? Yeah, sure. These are um, what we call our APS systems, zero point clamping systems. Um, they repeat to better than five microns. These ones have got what we call the M16 studs in there, and they'll give you 75 kilonewtons of pull down force per pot. Right, okay, so it's sprung to clamp, so it's fail safe, but use six bar air to release, and that's through the table on this machine. So they just press the button on the control panel, the three jaws pull out, and then the plate can be taken out, and to, to repeat that process, to put it in, you just drop the plate in, take the air off, and they spring to clamp. So setup time is reduced to almost seconds. Um, they're currently doing a similar operation on another machine over there, but without the zero point system, and that's taking about an hour to, to uh, take off and put back on again, whereas with this, it would be a matter of minutes. These pots are repeated about the five microns every time, so the setup time is just virtually gone. This was designed for Oxford Engineering. They came to us with an idea and specification, and we worked with them to develop it, um, and then we inserted our standard APS modules into the plate and cross-drilled it all up to link it all up. Two measurements you take with these, it's the, the holding force, which is say 75 kilonewtons, and then there's the pull down force, and these offer turbo function as well, which increases the pull down, the pulling in force. So standard without turbo function would be around about seven and a half kilonewtons. With the turbo function, it's 26 kilonewtons. Throughout the shop floor, this is one of the main aspects um, why Oxford Engineering went for this. Can you, can you tell us why this was and, and what their considerations were? Well, the consideration was that they've already got SMW products within the company, so it was helping to standardize with it. Um, but the design of it is such that there's another machine that another APS system will be installed onto, which mimics the center version of this. So they'll be able to interchange between machines very easily. So it's, it's almost like a modular system for them. It's all about repeatability for me um, and setup times. And this just it gives you fantastic repeatability and eliminates setup time completely. Should this system be on every single milling machine? Oh yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think it should.